Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Shani, if you guys didn't know, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this look. This is giving me transitioning into fall vibes. I really don't know what to call this look. I did something different on my bottom lash line. So if you guys want to see how I created this look, please stay tuned and keep watching. And I'm using some new products in this video, so yeah. Stay tuned. Okay, so as usual, I'm starting off with my eyebrows already done. If you guys are interested in a brow tutorial, I'll link it in my cards. All you have to do is press the eye on, I don't know what side, but it's an eye on the screen. And you can just press that button and the video will pop up. So if you guys are interested in a brow routine, I have that video up for you guys. So I'm going to start off with Chrome Yellow and Red Brick from MAC. This shade and this shade. And I'm mixing them together like I'm dipping my brush in both of them and it's gonna make like a yellow orange color and I'm using my morphe 532 brush and I'm just gonna take this in the outer corner of my eye and blend it inward and I'm just gonna add some more yellow to this because because I want to mainly see yellow so we're just going to keep adding some yellow in here. Now I'm using padding motion so that I can keep the intensity there because what the blending is doing is blending it out, but it's blending away the pigmentation a little bit. So I want to build up this pigmentation so that the yellow is more known. So I'm patting and then blending just to make sure I'm not getting any harsh lines with this eyeshadow because that's not cute. And then to deepen this up a little bit, I took Brown Script from MAC and I'm using my E25 brush from Sigma. And I'm just placing it right here in my crease. I'm using the little patting motions because I really want to control where this eyeshadow is going so that's why I'm using patting motions I don't want to just go and blend everything away um, because I really want to control where this eyeshadow is being placed so I'm just deepening that up just a little bit And I switched to my E25 brush from Sigma because I really like the shape of it. It's flat, but it's also tapered. As you guys can see, it kind of goes up like that. Um, and it's round. So it's easy for me to get in my crease or pack stuff on. And it's really soft, which is a plus. And now I'm switching back to my um, Morphe M532 brush. And I'm going to put yellow back in here because I don't want to lose any layers, okay? Also, if you have the Morphe 35B palette, this is a good palette to use to recreate this look because this yellow and this orange looks very similar to Chrome Yellow and Red Brick from MAC. So if you do want to recreate this look and you have this palette, you can because they're basically the same color and it does have a good pigmentation to it. So you guys can use that as a alternative. Now I'm going to go into my 35B palette and I'm taking this color right here. And I'm going to pop this in my crease. I'm going to pick up another brush because I don't want my colors to mix just yet. Um, so let's see what brush am I going to use. Okay, so I'm going to take my Sigma E38 brush. And I really like this brush as well because it's a little denser than your average blending brush. So it's going to allow you to pack on and blend out the product. So I'm going to pick up this color from the 35B palette from Morphe. So using the padding motions and then I'm going to go ahead and blend it out and try not to bring it up too far because you don't want to lose your layers now I'm just going to blend this out now I'm going to take I'm into it from MAC and I'm using my Morphe M506 brush and I'm just going to pack this in the outer corner of my eye 
and I'm not gonna bring this up too much because I want to keep my layers so I'm just going to pack it in this outer corner and brush it inward I'm going back in with this color from the Morphe 35B palette using that same E38 brush from Sigma. Okay, so for my mobile eyelid, I'm taking this color from Makeup Geek. I think this is from the Manny MUA palette. The color is Aphrodite, and I really like this color. But yeah, that's the color I'm going to be using. But before I use that, I'm taking my MAC Mix and Medium Eyeliner. I don't know where I put my NYX Mix and Medium. I have no clue where it is. So I'm back to using this until I find it or go repurchase it. I know it's in my room somewhere. I just don't know where I put it. And I'm using my 242 brush from MAC as well. And I'm just going to place this on my mobile eyelids. And I'm gonna let this get a little tacky and then place the eyeshadow on top. Um, usually I'll use my e.l.f. eyeshadow brush because I really love that brush, but I can't find it right now, so I'm using the E55 brush from Sigma. And I'm just pressing this on my eyelid. Loki, I feel like this eyeshadow is kind of like falling apart. Or is it supposed to be like this? I don't know. I feel like I have to keep pressing it to keep the eyeshadow in the pan. Mm. Can't waste eyeshadow, so I'm about to pack that right on top. Okay, for liner, I'm going to be using my Tarte Clay Paint Liner, and I'm using this Eyeliner 90 brush from Sephora. I'm gonna go off camera and do the rest of this liner because I don't wanna mess it up, so I'll be right back. Okay, now that my eyeliner is on, I'm going to take Corrupt from Makeup Geek and pack this right over my eyeliner and blend it out. And I'm using my Morphe M156 brush. So I'm gonna pack it on with this side right here and then I'm going to blend it out with this side right here. For lashes, I'm going to be wearing Intoxicating, Intoxicated or intoxicating, intoxicating from Flutter Lashes. They look like this. Okay, so my lashes are on and the glue is still drying, which is why you guys can see it. So we're just gonna let it dry while I do my face makeup. Okay, so I'm going to be priming my face with the Tarte Clean Slate Primer. And if you guys want a foundation routine that's in depth and I explain everything, I'll link my foundation routine in the cards. And then I'm gonna spray my face with the Mario Badescu Rose Water because I don't know where my green tea spray is. So I'm just gonna use this one. I think this one is more moisturizing. So I like this one as well. Okay, so my face is prepped and primed. Now I'm gonna go in with foundation and the foundation that I'm going to use is this Fit Me Foundation in the color 360 and I'm going to mix it with my Fenty Beauty foundation in the color uh, 450. This is actually not my shade. It's too red for me, which I don't know why I got a red undertone. This is a little too red for me, so I'm going to mix it with this foundation because this foundation is a little too light for me, but it's the correct undertone, if you guys get what I'm saying. Yeah. And I am going to be doing a actual review just bear with me, okay? I'm not gonna leave you guys hanging. I got you. And you guys are probably gonna be like, it looks like the correct shade, but no. It's not. <laughs> it is literally red on me. I wore the Fenty foundation to work, and I love the way it looks on. Absolutely love the way it looks on, but this shade was entirely too red. Like, I looked in the mirror, and I just looked red. There's, there's no other way to put it. 
your girl was red and to blend this out i'm actually using a foundation brush today and this is the morphe m439 brush which everybody loves and i didn't try it out until recently and i actually love the way it applies foundation so i'm using it today and i think i put too much foundation on let me wipe off my brush i feel like it made the perfect shade okay i think we good at least on camera but we'll see how it looks in person when i take pictures i think i just did something y'all I just put some more of the Fit Me foundation on just to give my nose a little more coverage. Okay, for concealer, I'm going to use the Pro Glow Infallible Concealer. Y'all, this concealer is bomb. Like, I was in Ulta because I was returning the Fit Me foundation to get a different color. And I came across this concealer and I was like, hmm, Pro Glow. I've never heard of it, but I like the glow word and I like the color of it. So I was like, let me just try it. And girl, fell in love. So if you guys see this in the drugstore, don't hesitate to pick it up because it's bomb. I wouldn't have y'all out here looking a hot mess. So girl, I'm telling you, I do love the glow effect that it gives because sometimes when I set my under eyes, because I do set my under eyes with a powder, sometimes it can look a little dry and the moisture in this Pro Glow Concealer just keeps it looking not too matte. And I'm using my Beauty Blender. And it just blends out flawlessly like... Girl, why you see that? And then I'm just going to set everything into place with my Revolution Banana Powder. And then to set the rest of my face, I'm taking this Infallible Pro Matte Powder in the color Coco number 8. And I'm using my morphe e41 brush and this is a new powder that i've been using and absolutely love it as well so if you see it in the store girl you already know go ahead and get it girl <laughs> go ahead and get it don't be shy <laughs> okay to contour my face i'm using this black radiance rich mahogany pressed powder that i used to use a long time ago probably like two years ago on my channel but i still love this powder i've just been obsessed with this shade in the contour palette but y'all if they make that contour shade an individual shade it's gonna be lit i really hope they do make it an individual shade because i don't use the other colors in that um contour palette contour my nose out a little bit I really don't even be con whoa <laughs> I was just about to say I really don't be contouring my nose but I literally just sculpted the crap out of my nose just blend that away a little bit because that's a little too defined for me okay for blush I'm going to be using desert rose from Mac and some of you guys asked me what this shade was um, the coral one, this is Burnt Pepper, which is a really pretty shade as well, but I just like Desert Rose better. And this is Sketch, and all of these blushes are from MAC. So I'm going to get my handy dandy blush brush <laughs> and apply this blush. Right on the apples on my cheek and blend it upward. And then I like to dust it over my nose. Don't know why, I just like the way it looks. So I'm gonna spray my face one more time to set everything into place and then go in with my highlight and then finish off my eyes and then do lips. <laughs> okay, to highlight, I'm going to be using bronze from the Anastasia Sun Dip Glow Kit. 
and I'm using my new obsession, this E61 brush from Morphe. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, you guys know the deal about this brush. I love it. Let's put it on my brow bone. Apply it to my nose. And then as a topper, I'm taking Candyman from ColourPop which looks like this and I've had these ColourPop highlighters for so long but I couldn't find a brush that worked really well with them but this brush works so well with them I don't know if this brush is synthetic but it works really good with these cushiony highlights okay so I'm gonna smoke out my bottom lash line with this yellow from the Morphe 35B palette and I'm going to mix it with the orange Right here. And to apply this, I'm using my Sigma E54 brush. I'm using patting motion so I can get the intensity. And then I'll start to blend. I really want this yellow to be seen, so I'm bringing it down onto my face. Now I'm taking the Sigma brush with brown script on it. And applying that to my bottom lash line as well and then I'm taking this I really don't know how to describe this color but taking this color right here on my M506 brush but I'm placing it more on the inner corner of my eye I really feel like you guys can't see this, but I really hope you can. And now I'm just applying some mascara. Okay, so I'm not done with the eyes just yet. We almost done though. Okay, so now I'm going to be applying some individual lashes from Ardell. And the glue is on the back of my hand already. And I'm just going to place these on the outer corner of my eye just to add some more drama I'm gonna let those dry down and then to highlight the inner corner of my eye I'm going to take motif from Mac this color right here which reflects to be like a purplish color. Press this in the inner corner to give me some more unicorn vibes. And I'm gonna put some under my brow bone because I freaking love the way that looks now that I just did it. Okay, now I'm just going to go over this glue with some liquid liner just to hide the glue that didn't dry clear. Okay, so this is how my eyes are looking and I think I'm done. So let's move on to the lips. Okay, for my lips, I'm using the NYX Lip Liner in espresso and then I'm going to pair it with the soft matte lip cream from NYX. Why did I have to look at that? I don't know. I used to be obsessed with this soft matte lip cream. Alright you guys, so this is the finished look. I really hope you guys liked it. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and comment down below. And also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for coming back to watch another one of my videos. And if you're new, thank you for watching. Hopefully you subscribe and come back for more. And I will see you guys in my next upload. Bye.